Hello and welcome back to the Common Colt Podcast, a Colts podcast with real takes, no clickbait. I'm Josh Hudgens, the guy on the left, and that's Dan, the guy on the right. What's up, Dan? Uh, not too much, not too much. Big day in uh, Colts land, and that was only the the presser that we had to introduce our new head coach. But Jim Irsay, baby, Jim Irsay, you got to love him. You got to love him. Uh, he, he, he says something that uh, kind of gets our attention, kind of, you know, gets our ears perked up. Talks about some kid from Alabama. What's this all about, Josh? Yeah, so we're watching the press conference. Shane Steichen getting introduced. Questions are flying, obviously. And then Jim Irsay. Uh, somebody, uh, Chris Ballard makes a comment like, hey, I don't mind trading back in the draft. And then Irsay's yeah. like, well, that Alabama kid doesn't look half bad, kind of. So so it's like, hold on a minute here. You know, a, a lot of, of course, then NFL Twitter, Colts Twitter blows up. Everyone's saying, yeah. did Ursay slip up? You know, what's what's going on here? And uh, I think we got to talk about it. We got to address it. Uh, we do one word reactions here, Dan. Uh, what's your yeah. one word? My one word is oops. <laughs> I don't think this was intended. I don't think uh, this was scripted. I don't think this is smoke screen. I think Ursay is just kind of uh, shooting off the top of his head, just kind of talking out loud. And there was a microphone right in front of his face. And so I think this is legit. I think uh, they view um, Bryce Young as a legitimate QB. Now, the question will be, do they also see Stroud that way? Do they see a third one that way? And then are they going to trade up? But I I think this gives us all the speculation we need to pursue the angle, uh, at least until we find something else that uh, the Colts are indeed intending to move up. And I think as Colts fans, we got to pay attention to this. I think Ursa screwed up. I think that Ursay, while probably not super clever, uh, he likes drama. And my one word is drama. Yeah. Uh, I think back many yeah. years ago, every so often, even after Andrew Luck retired, he would put a tweet out with Luck and the L capitalized as if it's somebody's yeah. last name. And he just seems to like when people are talking about the Colts or talking about him. It just, it just seems to be something he enjoys. So in my eyes, um, you know, I, I don't think he's completely leaked the Colts draft plans. Um, I, we don't know if he's given a smoke screen or if that's really the guy he wants. That's the crazy thing about Jim yeah. Say is you really don't know what the guy's thinking. Yeah. Uh, in my yeah. eyes, you know, the, the NFL combine hasn't happened. Pro days, individual team meetings. Yeah. Um, they just hired Shane St- uh, Steichen, who in my eyes, he's going to, he's going to have a big role in who the Colts draft a quarterback. Now he's not yeah. going to make the, he's not going to be the end all be all for the decision. I'm even assuming that. In, in his in the interview process, they probably talked a little bit about the quarterback position, but this guy, uh, this guy, now that he's with the Colts, I assume they're going to have more extensive meetings about it. And we know, I mean, they kind of value quarterbacks who can kind of move around and create. He said yeah. that's kind of something he looks for in a quarterback. And Bryce Young, the Alabama quarterback, he can create. Yeah. Uh, he's been compared to a mini Mahomes, and he is small, by yeah. the way. But he, I mean, that's what they compare him to. So. Is, is the is the conversation kind of shifting away from CJ Stroud now, or do you what are you what are you thinking? Well, two things. One, one, this is going to go back and forth. You're you're even going to get other quarterbacks thrown in there too, and we're going to have all the different speculation. Um, I think this just affirms to us that it's not a one man show. That there's going to be multiple quarterbacks at play here. The other thing, and and I'm curious, do you think that the Alabama connection, Jalen Hurts, Alabama? You know, uh, Shane Steichen was just the coach there. Now you got an Alabama kid. You, you know the history a little bit with, uh, you know, Ohio State quarterbacks. Uh, do you think that there is any connection with, you know, getting now Steichen and 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 Ursay's comment? You, you think that that Stroud might be the one that they really like out of those two? Yeah, that, that's a good thought. You know, I I think I think just to your point, it, it's it's going to be something we're going to bounce back and forth on. But yep. it's kind of similar to. I mean, Andrew Luck was going to be the guy when he yeah. came out. And then all of a sudden you heard like, oh, the Colts actually might take RG3. And, and then like the media will almost drum things up. Yeah. Now, typically, you don't have an owner coming out and blasting off with, with comments. But yeah. not a lot of owners are like Jim Mercer either. Uh, so, <laughs> so I think it is going to bounce back and forth. At the end of the day, I do think the Colts are going to take a quarterback this year. Um, yeah. and maybe it's more dependent on where they pick, uh, you know, if, if you're stuck yeah. at three or four or trade up to two, then, uh, or if Houston moves or something, then, then maybe you just don't get your pick of the litter. But if they get their, if they're at number one and they get their pick of the litter, yeah. that conversation is going to be super interesting. So one of the things in the NFL is kind of wild is that, you know, whenever there's two top quarterbacks in the same draft, usually one of them's a bust. Uh, very rarely, maybe once, twice, you can see, you know, Andrew Luck, RG3. I think you can get, even go back to 
you know, Eli Manning and, and Rivers were good, but but we're talking about that's over, you know, 15, 17 years. How many times has a Zach Wilson been a bust? Uh, how many times has, um, you know, the, you know, whatever, the second quarterback has been a bust? So yeah. I, I think that this is going to be huge on the Colts' minds for the next, you know, three months. And, uh, you know, Ursa just started it going, and, and we're going to have a lot of fun conversations yeah. with what they're going to do here. Yeah, and at the end of the day, I like that the the Ursa they're kind of shooting it straight. They're not saying, "Hey, we might have a quarterback on the roster. We yeah. like Sam Ellinger." I mean, they're 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 embracing yeah. the elephant in the room, which is we need a quarterback. Yep. They know it. It's not going to be a, a veteran quarterback this time. Yeah. Don't even think about Derek Carr. Yeah. Don't think about. Aaron Rodgers or something. We're getting yep. our young guy, and I think this is a year for it. So it's going to be exciting times. We've just begun. Uh, obviously, the draft season is coming up. NFL season is over. The pain, the misery is over for the Colts. We got our head coach. Uh, so be ready for a fun off season, guys. And I hope you're here with us. And by that, I mean make sure to subscribe to the Common Colt Podcast. We're close to a thousand. If you can give us that sub, really help us get there. That'd be awesome, um, guys. Thanks again for watching the Common Colt Podcast. I'm Josh. That's Dan. Until next time, have a great day.